should have made this video a long time ago. My name is Drew Nesbitt and I'm a registered acupuncturist and Chinese medicine practitioner in Toronto, Canada, where I focused on women's health for uh, over the last 15 years. For those of you who suffer from significant period pain due to any cause, there's a famous acupuncture point you absolutely need to know about. Be sure to stay to the end. There are some very important contraindications about when you might not want to do this treatment. If you have a friend or a family member who suffers, please be sure to share by using the share button below. The acupuncture point, commonly known as Spleen 6 or San Yin Jiao in Chinese medicine, is located fairly easily, about four fingers from the tip of your ankle bone. The point lies just behind the tibia or shin bone. Don't worry about being super precise. As long as you're in the general area, you're likely to be on top of where you need to be. It's common knowledge that one of the ways that acupuncture seems to work is by influencing the nervous system. The spleen six point lies over the posterior tibial nerve. When we stimulate the spleen six acupuncture point with a needle or mild electricity, we can modulate or normalize the function of this nerve all the way back to the sacral plexus or spinal cord, including the reproductive organs that are innervated by this group of nerves. When I say modulate, this this comes from a term known as neuromodulation. The International Neuromodulation Society defines therapeutic neuromodulation as the alteration of nerve activity through targeted delivery of a stimulus such as electrical stimulation to specific neurological sites in the body. Basically put, by stimulating nerves at the ends or periphery of the body, we can influence internal organ function at the opposite end of that nerve. Think near the spinal cord and in this case, altering how the body senses pain. Medical doctors use this technique. For those who are skeptical about acupuncture, this is not just a Chinese medicine thing. Western medicine uses neuromodulation on this exact point for overactive bladder concerns. If you're interested, the treatment is called posterior or percutaneous tibial nerve stimulation, or PTNS for short. Ask a urologist about this. They even use acupuncture needles to perform this treatment. I've added a YouTube link in the descri description below if you want to see the medical doctor performing this with an overactive bladder patient. Don't worry though, the treatment I want you to do involves no needles. Instead of using a needle with electricity to stimulate this point, all you need is a normal everyday TENS unit, also called transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation. Results seem comparable with the two interventions, so given the ease of using a TENS unit, this is a wonderful tool to have in your toolbox for those suffering from period pain or dysmenorrhea. So you'll need a TENS unit. I got this one off Amazon for around $60. The link for this is in the description. They're very reasonably priced. You'll want to stick one of the TENS pads on each point from the location discussed previously. Lie down in a position with the knees flexed as this reduces strain on the lower abdomen. Add some heat to the lower abdomen or lower back, which er whichever area experiences the most discomfort. Most TENS units have multiple settings to choose from, sometimes too many. Ideally though, you'll look for a setting on your TENS unit that has both a tapping sensation, a low frequency, and a buzzing sensation, which is a high frequency. You want the setting to alternate between the two settings. Setting number uh, I like for this unit is mode five and then number three. All TENS units are different, but try to stick to this concept when deciding on which setting to use. It's not a must do, but a variety of frequencies can encourage the release of different natural painkillers. Ideally, treatment length is around 30 minutes. Now that you have the correct mode, all you have to do is just set the intensity. On the unit that I have, the intensity is simply increased or decreased by pressing the positive button or the negative button. Ideally, you will increase the intensity to get a strong yet comfortable sensation. This can be a little tricky. Here's how I describe the ideal intensity to my clients. Sensations should be mostly comfortable, but any higher would make it a little uncomfortable, maybe sharp or pinchy. It's about a seven out of 10. Increase the intensity just so it's a little uncomfortable and then back off until you can tolerate the sensation. 
You shouldn't be wincing during this treatment, but you should definitely notice the sensation. Please note, as time goes on, your body will adapt to the sensation and may need increasing as the treatment progresses. Take a mental note on the intensity every five minutes or so to make sure you're still close to that seven out of 10 intensity. You'll wanna start this treatment a few days before your period pain usually starts. Treatments like this don't work well once the pain has set in. It's definitely best to intervene before the pain starts for this to be effective. As mentioned, do the treatments for 30 minutes each day until after your typical period pain is over. Now this is why I wanted you to stick around to the very end of this video. This is very important. This treatment is contraindicated in pregnancy. If you're trying to get pregnant and are in your two week wait, you should not be doing this treatment. If you are pregnant, then you're not getting your period and you can simply enjoy the possibility that your period pain might get better after you give birth. I would also say that epilepsy and those with electrical devices implanted in their bodies like pacemakers should also avoid TENS machines. If you're not sure, please ask your doctor if this is okay for you to try. And be sure to read the contraindications from your manual of the TENS unit that you decide to purchase. As you all know, there, there's rarely one solution to problems such as this, so please consider working with someone who can help you with regular acupuncture or diet, supplements and lifestyle advice. All of these things can positively influence pain in their own way. If you liked this video, please share this with others who might be suffering. Tell your friends and family members and be sure to comment below if this treatment helped you with your period pain. If you have other topics you want to see, just let me know. Maybe I'll make a video on those as well. Take care and see you next time.